Reese, just give us a rundown of uh, how you think that game went. Yeah, obviously, I thought we started really well. Um, we wanted to get into them early doors and you know set the tempo. And obviously, with a win on Saturday, we wanted to keep our momentum going and um, start where we left off. Really, so yeah, um, I think we started really well. And then to get the quite early goal, and then to get another one as well. So for two good goals, um, we were really happy. And you know, at half time, we we just thought might be a reaction and that's what came so you know that's football at the end of the day but you know I thought overall I thought we did we did pretty well. Yeah of course and then obviously being 2-0 up at half time what's going on in the dressing room there is it more sort of a case of more of the same but you expected yeah. a reaction from Bobby? Yeah we expected a reaction um, but at the same time you, you can't let off and you know let them get back into the game like, like we did which was unfortunate but all we wanted to do was you know Keep working hard, keep doing the same of what we're doing in the first half, really, and you know, hopefully win the game. But obviously, that's what Bond they got back into the game, but we were happy to um, win on penalties in the end. Yeah, and the manager's just been in here talking about how uh, often he's given chances to young players, and obviously, you've come into the, the team the last couple of games. And how, how do you think it's benefiting you? Yeah, it's really good. So, we know, you know, he's not afraid to put in younger lads if they're doing well enough in training and showing them that they. Deserve a chance like I had today. So, and obviously for me, it's all about you know getting as much game time as I can, and hopefully look to keep impressing when I can, get the opportunities as much as I can as well. So yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And how do you think your own uh, game is progressing so far this season? Yeah, obviously my first season in men's football, so got to adapt to that quite quickly. Um, getting more game time now, which is good. So just got to keep learning more about men's football, and like I said, just keep doing what I'm doing in training and working hard and hopefully I'll keep getting more opportunities to show what I can do on match day. And how big is that gap from youth ranked football to men's football? Because the manager talks to us a lot about how steep that learning curve yeah. is. Has it been the case for you as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think all the young lads whose first season it is in, in men's football um, have realised that the step is, you know, big. So, But at the end of the day, we're training hard and we're against men in training, so that just puts it in good stead for the match day. But obviously, it's actually ten percent on match day, isn't it? So, um, and you're against opposition, so yeah, it's difficult. But I think so far, I think we're doing well at the moment. So we just gotta keep going. Yeah, you know, going through that learning curve. Is it a case of you guys sort of feel yourself getting better as time goes on? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think from when we first joined in pre-season, and you know, when I first joined in pre-season, I feel that. I've adapted to the, the men's game quite well, as good as I could, you know, in training and when I've got me, me chance. So, but you know, I know I'm not even halfway there yet. You know, it's a long journey ahead. I'm, I'm only a few games into the start of a long career, hopefully. But if I want a long career, I've got to, you know, make sure I um, keep working hard and adapt to the men's football. But it'll take time. But day by day in training and stuff, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, just talk us through that penalty shootout at the end. Obviously, you get the the penalty shootout as a draw in the in the group stage of this competition. Yeah, yeah. Stood on the halfway line, sort of facing the Bolton fans. It like having the composure to go out there and win that penalty shootout must have been something. Yeah, yeah, it was. So we we had a, a long one in the Carabao Cup last time, which I missed unfortunately. But so I was looking to put it right. Uh, so when I scored, I was, I was really happy. But yeah, you just you just got to be confident. And I think we scored all five, didn't we? All five, yeah, yeah, all five, which. It's really good, isn't it? So, it's showing the lads are confident, and we just got to keep this momentum building into Saturday against Walsall. Yeah, and if you look through the the five takers of the penalties, obviously filled with young players like yourself. Yeah. Is that good? just show that the composure is already there with some of you guys? Yeah, well, hopefully, yeah. So, um, everyone stepped up and looked comfortable. You know, there wasn't any nerves. I don't think it's too bad. Obviously, you'll, you'll have a few nerves standing on the halfway line, but when we took the pens, I think they were all decent pens, weren't they? So. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, and then just uh, just finally uh, talk about carrying this performance because at the end of the day, even if you did draw two all, it was a strong performance from the team, and then carrying that forward onto the weekend and Walsall away. Yeah, it's like we were, we were talking about before. It's it's a lot about momentum. We've got to build momentum now. So I suppose you you could class it as two wins on on the bounce. I suppose obviously we did draw the game, but you know to get the extra point. So we just got to keep building on that now and hopefully take that to Walsall on Saturday. And, same again on the front foot and uh, hopefully get another win.